Hello and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video, we're going to show how we can go through getting the Oculus integration asset from the Unity Asset Store, importing it into our project and using it along with the Tilia SDK wrapper for the Oculus integration package. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. So we're going to be using the scene that we set up our interactables in. And this will show us that we can easily swap out our camera rig for another SDK based camera rig. To start with, we need to install the Oculus integration asset from the Unity Asset Store. So go to your web browser and go to assetstore.unity.com. And then we're just going to search for the Oculus asset. So search for Oculus. And then look down in the results and we should see the Oculus integration asset. It will say MetaQuest and we can click that. And then all we need to do is click Open in Unity. This will open the Unity Package Manager on the Oculus Integration Asset. If you haven't already downloaded it, you'll get the download button and you can click download to download that to your Unity. And then when you're ready, click import. And then when the import Unity Package window appears, we just need to click import to import this Oculus Integration Package into our project. You may get this script updating consent window and all we need to do is click yes for these files and other files that may be found later. And once the package is imported, it will ask us to update the Spatializer plugin. So all we need to do is click Upgrade. And then it will tell us that we need to restart the Unity Editor to complete this process. So again, just click Restart. Before Unity restarts, it will ask us to update the OVR plugin in Oculus Utilities. So just click Yes to that. And then we will see the dialog telling us that Oculus now supports OpenXR. And do we want to switch to it? And yes, we do. So just click Use OpenXR. And then finally, on the OVR plugin window, we can just click OK. Then we'll get the window that pops up asking us to restart Unity, so we just need to click Restart. And when Unity is restarted, you may get this window pop up saying we need to enable the Meta XR feature. We can just click Enable to that. And there we go, we should now have the Oculus integration package installed in our project. So we can close our package manager window down. And now we need to set this up. So we go to our project settings, go to Edit, and then down to Project Settings. And we should have a new Oculus menu item on the left, which we need to select. And we can see there's a number of issues that we need to go through and fix. The first thing is we need to set the color space to linear. So we can just click fix on that. And then we need to make sure the Oculus XR plugin package is installed as well. So we just click fix to do that for us. When that is installed, we'll see our Oculus option under the XR plugin management. But we'll also get an additional issue here saying it must be added to the active loaders. So we just need to click fix again to do that. Now the recommended items we could go through and we could update, but we're just going to leave them for now. We're going to go to our XR plugin management option. And what we want to do is make sure open XR is unticked and only the Oculus one is ticked. And make sure you do that in the Android section as well. So click on the Android settings and make sure Oculus is ticked. And that means when we do a build for Android, if we were deploying to the Oculus Quest, it would then make sure it is used in the Oculus settings. And we can go into the sub settings on Oculus and we can see what settings have been set up here for any Android headset or if we were using a desktop headset. And there we go, we've set up the Oculus integration asset in our project now. So what we want to do is be able to use that in our scene and use it along with the existing VRTK stuff that we already have. By default, the Oculus package gives us a bunch of different prefabs inside the Oculus directory and one of them is their OVR camera rig. Now this is the camera rig prefab that we want to use because it has a bunch of additional scripts on that help us do things specifically for Oculus. But we can't just drag and drop that prefab into our scene because it wouldn't be compatible with all of our other VRTK setup. So what we can use is a Tilia SDK wrapper that wraps the Oculus integration SDK and allows it to work seamlessly with VRTK. So let's go and get that now. And we just go to Window, Tilia, package importer and then if we scroll down we should see all of our different SDK wrappers and we just want the Oculus integration one so we'll click add to add that to our project and when that's added to the project we can close our package importer window down and now we should have additional Tilia prefabs that will work with Oculus integration so let's add in the Oculus integration camera rig from Tilia so if we right click on our hierarchy go down to Tilia and then prefabs and then if we look in camera rigs, we should now have one called camera rigs Oculus integration. So if we select that and add it to our scene, and we can see it's got all of the common Tilia and Zinnia scripts that are needed to work with VRTK. 
and if we were to expand this we can see inside it actually does have the OVR camera rig it also has inside the haptic pulses if we were to look there it's got a specific haptic pulses set up to use the oculus integration sdk haptics rather than the generic open xr ones this is the same for the velocity trackers if we look inside here we can see that these are actually using ovr velocity trackers not the generic average estimation velocity trackers we can now collapse this up and now we have this additional camera rig in our scene we need to tell our tracked alias about it so if we go to our tracked alias and we add another element so if we increase the elements by one and then all we need to do is grab drag and drop our oculus integration camera rig into our elements list and now what happens is whichever one of these is active in the scene is the one the tracked alias will follow so we want our oculus integration one to be the one that's being followed so all we need to do is disable the unity xr plugin framework camera rig and that will no longer be tracked by the tracked alias the Oculus integration asset also provides us controller model prefabs that we can use to represent our controllers in the game. So we're going to add those to our camera rig Oculus integration, as we only want these to show up on our Oculus integration camera rig. So we'll collapse these, and all we need to do now is open our OVR camera rig, open the tracking space, and then we have the left hand anchor and the right hand anchor. And if we open these up, we can see they've got a left controller anchor and a right controller anchor. So all we're going to do is put the prefabs in there. So if we look in our prefabs, we've got the OVR controller prefab. We can drag and drop that into the left controller anchor. And then we just need to say which controller it is. So this is the L touch controller. And again, do the same for the right controller anchor. Drag and drop our OVR controller prefab and set the controller to R touch. Now, by default, these controllers do not have any colliders on them. But that's OK for us because if we look in our tracked alias, our aliases have the interactors and in our interactors there is still the avatar container and that example avatar which is a simple cube mesh does contain that box collider so we don't want to show this cube mesh anymore because we will see the visible representation of our controller so we can just turn that mesh off but we'll keep the box collider as that will still work for us and we'll do the same in our right interactor as well so go into our avatar container and we'll just turn the mesh collider off on the example avatar there as well and now we can collapse our tracked alias back up and our Oculus integration camera rig back up. And there we go. We've set up our scene now to use the Oculus integration asset and to integrate it with our tracked alias. And then everything else in our scene that we've already set up will then continue to work. So there we go. We've set up our project now. All we need to do is build this and deploy it to an Oculus Quest and we can see it working. So to build this scene, we're going to go file and then build settings. And we're going to make sure this scene is in our open scenes. And then we just need to switch to the Android platform. And then we'll go into the player settings and just double check in the XR plugin management on the Android tab, we only have Oculus selected. If you have multiple ones selected, it will most likely fail to build. And then we need to go to our player. We need to make sure our company name is set, our product name is set and our version is set. We will also updated this to be on linear. That's fine. And if we scroll down, what we're going to do as well is make sure our minimum API level is set to 29, which is correct for Oculus. And what we can also do as well is switch our scripting backend from Mono to IL to CPP. This is required for certain features such as pass through on Oculus, and it doesn't hurt anyway, so we'll do that now. And then when you do that, we need to make sure our target architecture is switched off of ARM v7 and ARM64 is ticked on. And that's all we should need to do in the player settings, so we can close that. So one more thing to do before we build is to ensure that our curved pointer is no longer using the OpenXR right pointer pose as we are no longer using OpenXR so this wouldn't work. Let's update that now. All we need to do is expand our VRTK previous tutorial elements and then go to our object pointer curve and we can see the follow source is still set to right pointer and all we're going to do now is expand our tracked alias and we're just going to use the right controller alias for our follow source. And that should be everything. Now we can just click build and we could type in a name for our APK. And then we could use something like SideQuest to upload that straight to our Oculus Quest device. Or if you've got your Oculus Quest plugged in, you can see if you can select it from the list in run device. So I'll select my Oculus Quest 2. And now if I click build and run, it will ask me to give a file name to save this APK as. I've already got one called Oculus Test, so I'll just save it as that. And then if you have any changes to your scene, it'll ask you to save those, so I will. And then the build process will start. And the build process can take some time on the first time of building for Oculus. 
but after that it will be much quicker. And when the build finishes, it will automatically deploy to the headset and start running. And as we can see, I'm now in my scene and I've got the Oculus controllers represented because of that Oculus controller prefab that we used. And they're fully animated as we can see here. And then I can also use my controller pointer as we can see and I can go over to the pig and then the interactions still work as before. And there we go. We've now set up our scene using Oculus integration and we haven't had to change anything else within our VRTK setup. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.